Tonight, will Laura prove that she no longer has an egg on her face? You messed up your omelet. And it was <laughs> kind of raw. And none of us really wanted to eat it, but we had to. Can Rogelio finally gain the confidence to commit to a dish? Are you trying to deep fry candy? Yes, I, they're pretty hard. This is insane. Oh, they choke under the pressure of competing against Top Chef veterans. Everyone should have this much fun. This is Last Chance Kitchen, brought to you by Hidden Valley Ranch. Oh my God, this just got real. Mama. <laughs> Being here at Last Chef's Kitchen, I'm feeling a little nervous. I want to definitely redeem myself and I want to make sure that I always have some fight in me. Hi, hey, Chef. You're trying to figure out what's going on here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, Laura, do you recognize any of these chefs up here? Yeah, I have no clue what's going on still. <laughs> I mentioned we were shaking things up a little bit in Last Chance Kitchen. We did. So these three chefs have already competed and they've taken out three other chefs. Oh, two. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you, Hi. Marcel? Yeah. I know who Marcel is. I know who Jen Carroll is. It's like I have little baseball cards of Top Chef people. <laughs> so we've been having a little bit of fun here while you were gone. <laughs> it's unsettling seeing that Jen Carroll is already eliminated because she is a badass in the kitchen. I just can't believe that this is my shot at redemption. So there are two of you coming into Last Chance Kitchen, and this time, two people will be leaving. Stakes are high. You guys ready to redeem yourself? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So Laura and Helio, you both had back-to-back -back, uh, challenge failures. Laura, you messed up your Denver omelet, and then I didn't cook kind an of egg. messed up your omelet. <laughs> and it was kind of raw, and none of us really wanted to eat it, but we had to. 45 seconds. What is she dreaming of? I don't. What I don't, is I don't, that I mess? Don't, 10 seconds. Pretty well. I have these days, I call them do not drive days, where I should not be operating a motor vehicle because I mentally scattered. And my last day on Top Chef was like that. Rogelio, you also messed up your Denver omelet, but then you went on and you messed up your corn and cabbage salad as well. Rogelio. That salad needed to be cold. I mean, I think you know that, right? I wanted to kind of do it like maybe room temperature with the corn and then add the cold slaw on the bowl. So you wanted it kind of room temperature but cold. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. So today we're going to take those two wrongs and we're going to make them right. In each of our baskets, there are two ingredients that are just wrong together. We have vanilla beans and pickles. We have garlic and strawberries, there's licorice and peanut butter. We have sour candy and gochujang. All kinds of things that I would not want to make work. That's your job. How many baskets are there? Seven baskets, there's five chefs. I'm seeing a basket with bonito and chocolate. I'm like, okay, I can work with that. On the far side, I'm seeing like bananas and capers. I'm like, okay, I can work with that. You have 30 minutes. It's all first come, first serve, and your time starts now. It's a mad dash for baskets. Kwame goes, he grabs the bananas and capers. Claudette grabs the bonito and chocolate. Ugh. I grab pickles with the vanilla. I'll figure it out no matter what. I know that I can make anything work. Let's go, chefs! 29 minutes! Push! I'm just excited to keep going deeper into the different regions of Mexico and the cuisine that has inspired me so much. What you gonna make, Claudette? Raspberry mole. Oh, yeah. Mole, 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 mole. The chocolate and the bonito flakes from my basket are incorporated in the mole. Bonito flakes is just a bonito fish that has been dried, cured in salt, and right now I'm incorporating it into the mole for the umami of the fish, and I think it makes for a beautiful combination. Come on, Mama! I'm ready! Hey, Laura, are you happy with your basket? I am. I am uh, thinking in my head right now, but I think I got it pretty easy. Well, no, I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> Last <laughs> words. What do you got going on over there? Uh, I got Korean chili paste, sour candy. Today, I wanna make ahi tuna. It's gonna be marinated in the gochujang and the sour candy. And then I'm gonna take some of the sour candy and I'm gonna fry them, add a little bit of red wine vinegar, some of the gochujang, and that's gonna be the dressing. Ambitious, I like your style. Yeah. How you feeling, Rogelio? Feeling good. Yeah? It's my San Francisco buddy over there. 
Where does he cook? What's his restaurant? The commissary, Trace Desjardins restaurant. Oh, yeah. You are the machine, Leanne. You are the <laughs> back Get to, bombed. Back to Jewel one. Said. Get the jewels. Traditionally, we think of vanilla in sweet applications, but in this particular chicken dish, vanilla is combined with garlic, fresh ground chilies, and orange juice. This is not an ideal challenge. Fingers crossed that I won't be one of the two eliminated. Chef, you got a couple of those dark bananas you can spare? Yeah, definitely. You just tell her to grab your bananas? <laughs> just the tip? Tell her to uh, grab your bananas. The whole thing, myself. The whole thing. Oh, guy. It's mine is yours. Ditto. You want some chocolate, bonito flakes? Uh, I think I'm good, thank you. <laughs> the bonito chocolate one seems interesting. I feel like there's a lot you can do with that one. Uh, Says the guy who's like, you know, yeah. making them do it. Chef, how's it going? Mommy. I'm making this uh, dish that I grew up eating a lot, it's a Nigerian pepper stew. What's your combo? Uh, bananas, and... bananas and capers. Okay. So, All right. Use a lot of dried shrimp over there. I'm going for another stew because it makes sense. This is the perfect dish to blend those two ingredients because you can utilize the ingredients for what they are, really. Bananas for sweetness and the capers for their salinity and brininess. And you have pickles and vanilla? These two well, went for the basket I wanted, so I was like, all right, I'll go with the pickles and vanilla. So what are you making? Uh, I'm doing a, uh, a Veracruz-style uh, orange vanilla braised chili chicken. Got it. And you using both pickles? Yeah. Cool. What, is? what was your combo? I got uh, bonito and chocolate. Bonito and chocolate? Yeah. Oh, great. Why did you choose that? Because I can make a really sick uh, mole with venison, and I'm going to do pickled rhubarb. All right, so you, you, you all right. With the miso yeah. fortified with bonito flake. Rogelio. Chef, how are you, chef? You're not making a corn salad, are you? <laughs> I'm not, chef. <laughs> what was your combo? Uh, so this is has uh, a little bit of the Cochon. chili paste, sour candies. Yeah. So I made a vinaigrette and kind of melted the sour. You, so you're marinating with sour candies? <laughs> yes, chef. You went for it, huh? Yeah, there's sour candies in the vinaigrette as well. Make my kids, kids proud. For your kids, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Definitely taking big risks for me. I've been through, you know, so much. I had three jobs, worked seven days a week, doubles, just to put food on the table. It was a struggle with two kids. I want to prove that I belong in the competition and I want to stay here. Go big or go home. Laura, what are you making? Nothing um, omelet, right? I had black, black garlic, garlic, white I like garlic, this combo, and strawberries. I like this combo. And you had halibut in the refrigerator, so I went home school with this one, and I'm doing Alaskan halibut. Uh, basted in black garlic butter with a fresh garlic, tomato, strawberry salsa. Salsa. Yeah, we had the halibut in there just for you. Thank you. You having fun yet, Rogelia? Oh, uh, lots of fun. Everyone should have this much fun. After the huge embarrassment with the omelet challenge, I just really want to make sure I execute my fish properly. This is yet another challenge with another clock, and it's proving to myself that I can actually get my sh together and cook a dish. Are you trying to deep fry candy? Yes, I. It's, it's gonna melt. Oh my god. They're pretty hard. This is insane. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of a huge fan of sour gummy candy, and I'm not sure what Rogelio's doing, but I kind of want to taste it. This oh, is they crazy. are gonna melt, yeah. This is crazy. Gosh. <laughs> when I go and fry the sour candy, they melt down. As chefs, we just have to roll with the punches. You are going for it, man. Mad props to you. Okay, chef, four minutes left. Time to make sure your proteins are cooked, make sure your dishes are seasoned. It definitely adds more pressure knowing that two of us go home. The odds are almost 50-50 on whether or not you stay. I feel like I got this. <laughs> Don't make the mistake like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes left, chef. Two minutes. Yes, chef. I think this dish is gonna beat out the other competitors because it's so flavor forward. I grew up on this food, honestly. You know, so my research has been most of my life. The flavors, they're just so wild. Oh, Laura's going over to the wood burning oven. Oh no. Don't overcook the halibut. 40 seconds. Good job, Chef. Whew. 
Okay. Hi, Chef. So this is a Veracruz-style chicken. Uh, I use three different types of dried chilies. Mm -hmm. uh, vanilla, garlic, black pepper, fresh orange, and grapefruit juice. And where's the sweetness coming from, the orange juice and grapefruit yeah, juice? Yeah. And then uh, I took the pickles, I took both cornichons and bread and butters, mixed them with a fresh uh, cucumber salsa. Thanks. Kwame, so Chef. tell me about your stew here. So uh, here we have a uh, Nigerian red pepper stew, chicken thigh, crispy plantain. I, I don't know much about Nigerian food. What are some characteristics of Nigerian uh, food? So Nigerian food, they use a lot of dried shrimp, mm -hmm. um, tomato, onion, and red pepper. That's kind of like our mother sauce. That's mm -hmm. the sauce that we eat. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Claudette. Hey, Chef, how are you? That looks fantastic. Thank you. So I have a, just a slightly seared venison with the raspberry mole with wajillo peppers, garlic, onions, the 52% chocolate. And the bonito you just kind of shaved over the top? Um, I had it on top and it had it inside the mole as well. Thanks. Thank you. Video. Chef, how are you? Good, what do we have? Fennel, apples, peppers, fried uh, sour candy. <laughs> um, that liquid that I kind of soaked the vegetables in, it's uh, sour candy, Korean chili paste. Let me ask you a question. There's two other baskets over there. Why the sour candy? Um, I don't know. I just grabbed it. <laughs> I, I figured everything was going to be difficult. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Laura. Alaskan halibut. Alaskan halibut. I made a strawberry salsa, some arugula for the crunch, and then the garlic in the salsa, and then I basted the halibut in black garlic. Thank you. Thank you. Chefs, I gotta hand it to you, you actually use the ingredients. I was uh, quite surprised. So Leanne, the dish actually looked fantastic. The chicken was perfectly cooked. Thank you. Could have used a little less reduced juice because it was a little sweet, maybe a little more salt and some more acid in the dish. Kwame, I want to know more about Nigerian cooking. It really built up a lot of umami flavors and there were some nice herbal notes as well. Claudette, perfect cooking on the venison. The mole, clearly it's something you're doing in 30 minutes, so, but you still developed a good amount of flavor there. Rohili, I gotta hand it to you. I mean, you, you went you went for it with those with the with the gummies. I thought marinating the gummies I thought was a really, really good idea. Frying the gummies, eh, not so much. But beautifully cooked tuna, it was perfectly grilled, nice and rare, altogether a uh, nice dish. And Laura, clearly you know how to cook halibut. You nailed that. I thought the dish really suffered from a lack of seasoning, but the fish cookery was spot on. So, winner. Tough one because I liked a bunch of the dishes. But I have to say the dish that I liked the most. Claudette. You talked about these flavors and now we're seeing them. Where were they when you were in the competition? In no, 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 see, see that doesn't, that's not the way it works. We let go the worst dish of the day. It's not about what you can do or what you did, even what you did, it's, it's that day and you weren't doing this. So it's, it's good to see. Oh God, the two bottoms, the two, the two that are gonna not go through. This is tough. It's, it's, it's hard, hard to do this. Kwame, Leanne, you guys are safe. Rogelio, that, it was good until those gummy worms, and you didn't have to use them. You, you used them in the marinade, that would have been enough. Uh, and Laura, again, I love the, the halibut was delicious, but the rest of that garnish really needed some work. No, I agree, yeah. I yeah. agree. Anyway, you guys can exit the kitchen, but thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Of course I'm sad to leave. I mean, this is an amazing experience for anybody, and it is much more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. But as a Top Chef super fan, it's like going to a fantasy camp where you actually get to meet your culinary idols. Good job, Chef. You too, thank you. I don't have any regrets. I think that everything happens for a reason. I definitely wanna make my mother proud and my kids and everybody that knows me proud. And so that's what I did. Claudette, two in a row. Thank you, Chef. Wow. Uh-oh. Good stuff. I'm stoked that I won. I feel just like weird wave of confidence throughout this whole process, and I'm gonna prove to you that I'm a lot more than what you see. All right, well, we'll see you next week. Thank you, Thank Chef. You. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he said Kwame Leanne. I was like... <laughs>